yeah, we're about to research the ethereal device. Gallop chamber available for construction. Having learned a great deal about the hyperwave beacon and its associated interdimensional signaling capabilities, we believe this newly recovered device confirms our suspicion about this technology and takes it a step further. The Psi Link, as it is now being called, appears to provide a direct link to the psionic network used by the aliens for field communications. Although we are treading into an area of highly theoretical science, we believe there is a strong indication that the aliens function under a collective consciousness, a form of social organization akin to a hive mind, as seen in various species of insects found on Earth. It wasn't until our first interaction with the ethereal species of alien that we were able to understand the scope of the psionic abilities we had previously been exposed to. Although we've only scratched the surface in terms of developing psionic abilities within a human subject, we've now theorized that it may be possible to join the alien's consciousness to tap into their hive mind by successfully activating this device. However, in order to ensure the safety of XCOM headquarters, we'll need to construct a chamber that ma minimizes the potential risk to the rest of the facility during the activation process. As it so happens, two of you are brightest young minds, a team of brothers, have already conceived of just such a facility appropriate to this task. We managed to locate a soldier with an aptitude for psionics and find a means to develop these abilities further. I believe it will be only a matter of time before we succeed in activating the device and finding the source of this invasion. So. We have a psionic soldier or two, but we need to devo develop their abilities further. Psy armor. Um. Yeah, that. That brings up another point. Uh, I check the armors. There are basically two lines of armors. There's the fast speed, speed increasing. Crappling hook line, and then there's the heavy armor. Uh, I don't see any reason to use the heavier armor. It's it it has the poison and fire immunities, but I haven't seen anyone use fire. And poison is only done by guys that is uh, either chrysalids, which you're screwed if you get poison. They, I mean, if they get too close combat, anyway, you're screwed. And then the thin men, which are easy to dispose of. So, for the most part, ghost armor would be the better choice for us. Simply because it, the line vastly increases your, increases your normal movement speed. And that means you can always get to where the action is going. Usually in a good firing position, compared to just holding your position or trying to stay in the open or be lacking movement so you can't really get into a good spot. It just has so many downsides. Problem is we're not going to be able to afford it. I, I don't know about the Psy armor. I don't think it uh, goes to either line. It's something special. We reach a point in our research of the aliens' psionic abilities and their associated cybernetic implants that we are confident enough to begin preliminary tests of this technology of the human subjects. Although the system we have in mind will require the use of a lightweight armor suit to reduce defensive capabilities, this Psy armor should more than compensate by providing a significant boost to our soldiers' psionic abilities. It is our hope that bolstering these abilities within our soldiers will provide new insights as we seek to discover the source of the alien's collective consciousness. We still don't fully understand the link between the visible psionic abilities we've seen exhibited by the aliens and their use of psionics as a means of communication. 
I believe it's very very likely we'll find a way to activate the ethereal device if we can successfully fabricate this armor. So it's uh we need the armor for that guy who's using it. And lacking weapon fragments. Probably never going to take the pistol. That'll save us 40. Still need 38 more to do this plasma sniper. We need to start working on the housing for this device as soon as possible. Considering what we went through to get it, we should be making every effort to provide a secure location for its storage. Insufficient for fun. And we don't have the armors, and we don't have anything, so yeah. Mm. We might as well get rid of the lab laboratories at this point. Uh, it won't make much of a much of a benefit, so I don't know. So we need a psi armor, three hundred. And ghost armors, which are 200 each. Yikes. Uh, I think we should focus on the Psy armor first. Uh, once we have, once we have that, we can at least see where all of this is going. But we need to wait until the month changes. We might have to dump a lot of items on the gray market too, so we don't need to extend things too much. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Have one satellite? Yes. So it doesn't particularly matter where we're gonna launch this, so. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. Extra engineers again should bring the prices down. But that's not all that useful. Well, it is. It is exactly what that. Nexus. One gifted. Major Yuan Ramirez. Another assault class. And that's it. I doubt very much that we're gonna use any more rookies for anything. We need a mission, with multiple missions in fact. I, I'd really like to have a couple of more heavy plasmas. I mean, proper plasma, plasma rifles. Uh, if we, we can't. All of our money is going to go to getting the armors we need. We can't buy weapons on top of that. It'll never work. Full-time corpses. 480. Yeah, just dispatch them. Detected. Small. This uh, China. Enemy is padlocked. Padlocked. Approaching target now. The 
Ethereal Mouton Elite Cyberdace Drone Heavy Floater Scout Target Crew 7 I mean the target is more important at this point. But if we can capture things, that'll be great. All Psy cable guys need to go. an easy job. Prepare for deployment strike one. We're heading into China for the next operation. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely So eight enemies pretty much eight. We're not going to take any risk, really. Well, at least not massive risks. Ethereal, we can just slaughter. We could use their corpses to produce uh, psi shields. Something we want before we go on to the final mission. Uh, depending on. Of how it works, what item slots it's gonna use. 